Hello everyone and welcome back to Villainous. Today we are playing Gaston. We have shuffled his uh, fate deck, we've shuffled his villain deck. Uh, let's, uh, we have 20 rounds to win and uh, Gaston wins after he removes all eight obstacle tokens, which are right here. I don't know if you can see them, but that's right there in these four. There's two in each of the four locations and we got to remove all eight. Uh, we got 20 rounds to win. Here is our fate die. We will fate ourselves on a 1, 2, 3, or 4 out of 10. And let's start by drawing four cards. Alright, we start with uh, Take Me Instead. It's an effect card. Cost zero to play. Reveal cards from your fate deck until you find a hero. Then play that hero to Beast Castle. Remove one obstacle. Beautiful as me, a condition card. Uh, during their turn, if another player takes four or more actions, you may play beautiful as me. You may remove one obstacle token. And uh, the way uh, I treat condition cards in solo mode is that I need to meet the condition. And if I do, I can play the condition card as a free action. So uh, for in this example, uh, if I take four or more actions, I can play this card to remove one obstacle token. Uh, get out, remove three obstacles. It's an effect card, costs five to play. And wolves, an ally card, uh, costs one to play, have one strength. And wolves gain plus one strength for every other wolves card in play. Okay, let's begin. So, let's start by moving... Let's see. Start by moving here. We're going to... Draw uh, two power. Uh, let's see what we want to do. Uh, not going to play that yet. So let's see. Do we want to discard anything? Um, why don't we do? Why don't we play this card? Uh, so it's a free card. So we just reveal cards from our fate deck until we find a hero, and then we play that hero to Beast Castle. No, not a hero. Wow, I'm getting through a lot. Here we go. So, uh, when played, uh, you may remove, you may move all heroes or, f or fate items to new locations. So that goes to Beast Castle, and uh, we're going to remove uh, one obstacle token. So let's get it out of the woods. Okay. Um, do we want to discard? I guess we'll discard. Do we want to get rid of that? Because if we do, we can remove one obstacle. Um, let's do it. Let's, we're going to get discard this card, uh, which will trigger this because we would have done all four actions. We gained two power. We played a card. We're going to discard. Uh, we discarded that card. And the fate uh, action we kind of do automatically anyways in solo mode. So um, so we're going to activate that card to remove one obstacle token. I'm going to remove it from the woods to clear out the woods. Okay, we're going to hold on to the wolves. Um, so what I mean by the fate action in uh, solo mode is that uh, it, I just treat it as reducing the chances of me being automatically fated by the fate die. So uh, let's move down around 19. We're going to draw three cards, get back up to four. We got another Wolves. Uh, we also got a uh, Hunter's Instinct, uh, an effect card, costs three to play, defeat a hero with a strength of three or less. In LeFou, uh, he is an ally, costs two to play, has two strength. When performing a Vanquish action in LeFou's location, all allies are returned to your hand instead of the discard pile. All right. Now let's see if we get faded. So normally I would fate myself on a 1, 2, 3, or 4 out of 10. Uh, but because we're at a location with the fate symbol, it'll only be out of 1 or 2 out of 10. A 1. We're going to get faded anyways. Oh boy. Okay, first choice is Lumiere. He is a hero with 3 strength. When Lumiere is played, you may move a hero to a new location. In Saving My Life... Replace all obstacles in a single location. Oh, I think that would be worse for us, because I kind of 
defeats all the work we did on our first turn. So we're going to put both of those back there. Okay. On to our, let's, uh, let's continue the turn. So what we'll do is, uh, we're going to go here. We're going to gain two power. We're going to spend one, play the wolves. We're going to use the vanquish action to vanquish Mrs. Potts. Um, nothing to activate, so we'll end that turn there. Let's move down around 18. Draw one card, get back up to four. Uh, come into the light. Remove up to two obstacles from a single location. All right, let's uh, see if we get faded on a one, two, three, or four out of 10. A 10, we do not. Okay. Well, we have enough to do this. So, um, and we kind of want to get through our hand. So why don't we go here? We're gonna get um, one power, right? Do we wanna do that? Or maybe we'll go here instead. Hmm. Just thinking what I wanna do. I guess we'll go there instead. We'll get, uh, no, no, we're gonna go here instead. We're, we're gonna get one power. We're gonna stick to our original plan. We're gonna spend three power to play come into the light to remove two obstacles from a single location let's try the tavern maybe we'll have more luck doing that okay uh we're gonna so we can play two cards while at this location uh we're gonna spend one power to play a wolf to the woods no we're gonna play to beast castle uh that's all we can do there. We have the fate action there, so we're gonna reduce the chances of being faded. But before we do that, let's go down around 17, draw two cards, get back up to four. Uh, swoon, uh, an effect card, costs one to play, replace one obstacle, then either gain three power or draw three cards. And intimidating, reveal cards from the top of your villain deck until you reveal an ally, place that ally in your hand, discard the rest. Okay, uh, let's see if we get faded on a one or two out of ten. Two. Oh boy, we're gonna get faded anyways. Whoops. Maurice, uh, he is a hero with two strength. When Maurice is played, find and play Maurice's invention to Maurice's location. If Maurice is vanquished, remove all obstacles from Bell's house. Cogsworth, all other heroes in Cogsworth location get plus one strength. So definitely the worst one for us is going to be Maurice. Uh, let's play him here to block the activate symbol because you might uh, we might find out later how good that activate symbol is for Gaston. Uh, but because we, we played him, we got to find his invention, which is here, and play it to his location. Uh, and let's see what this is so it's a uh, item card with four strength all allies in the same location as maurice uh, maurice's invention lose one strength okay all right uh so why don't we go huh <laughs> i think we'll go here we're gonna draw uh two power or gain two power we're going to discard swoon um let's spend uh one power to do this so we're gonna reveal cards from the top of our villain deck until we reveal an ally place an ally into our hand discard the rest <laughs> Okay, not yet. Oh boy. Here's our ally. We discard the rest. And we get rid of that. K, 
Okay, anything else I want to do there? No. Um, so we go down around 16, draw one card to get back up to four. Uh, time to follow me in effect card, perform uh, a move item or ally action. Let's see if we get faded on a one or two out of ten because we are at a location with the fate symbol. A two, you gotta be kidding me. Let's see, first option. It is you. Replace one obstacle in each location. All right. And uh, Bell, no obstacles may be removed while Bell is in play. Yikes. So why don't we put Bell here at her house and that'll block a vanquish action. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. So now we want to, oh boy. Kind of hurting here. Hmm. I think what we'll do is we'll go here, gain one power. We're going to put down, spend two to play um, LeFou. And uh, don't have enough power to play anything else. Uh, so we'll end that turn there. Let's go down around 15. Starting to get a little nervous. Um, let's get one card to get back up to four. Beautiful as me, a condition card. Uh, during their turn, if another player takes four or more actions, you may play beautiful as me. You may m remove one obstacle token. All right, let's see if we get faded. Uh, five, we do not. Okay, um, I want to go here, I want to gain two power, uh, I'm going to discard this card, I'm going to discard um, this card even though I don't really want to, you know I'm going to hold on to that card, there's really no reason to discard so much as Gaston, um, but we're going to save up power, because uh, um, we want to get rid of Bell before we get rid of Maurice. So let's go down around 14, get one card, uh, perform a Vanquish action. Bell is mine, an effect card, cost one to play. All right, let's see if we get faded on a one or two. Ten, we do not. Okay. So we're going to go here. We're going to get one power. We have three, we're gonna spend all three to use Hunter in Hunter's Instinct to defeat her here with a strength of three or less. So we're basically gonna shoot a bow and arrow at Bell to defeat her. And now we can remove obstacles again, which is good. Um, okay, so that's it for that turn. Uh, let's go to round 13 gonna uh, draw one card uh, take me instead an effect card cost zero to play reveal cards from your fate deck until you find a hero and play that hero to be castle remove one obstacle 10 we do not get faded all right um, so let's go here, we're going to draw two cards, um, we're going to spend uh, two power to play the mob, we're going to uh, discard Bell is Mine, and we did all the actions here, so we can activate our condition card to remove one obstacle token. And we're gonna remove one from the woods. Um, we'll hold on to this one. Let's uh, move down around 12. We're gonna draw three cards, get back up to four. Uh, swoon, uh, replace one obstacle token, then either gain three power or draw three cards. Intimidating, reveal cards from the top of your villain deck until you reveal an ally. Place that ally in your hand, discard the rest. 
and Beautiful As Me, that's uh, the one we just played. So, all right, let's uh, see if we get faded. Uh, one, we're gonna get faded. First option, uh, massaging my feet, replace two obstacles. Be our guest, find a hero in the fate discard pile and play them to any location. Huh, so what's worse? for us, replacing two obstacles or putting Bell back out so we can't remove any further obstacles. I think Bell is worse for us. So we're gonna play Be Our Guest, Fine, and uh, Bell, and we're gonna place her back to her home. So that kind of screws up our plan. Oh, come on. That really screws up our plan, because we were gonna go here, use um, these guys to get rid of Or at least use them to get rid of uh, Maurice. And then play him again later to get rid of the invention. Um, so let's see. So instead of that, what we'll do is... Um, I guess we'll go here. We're going to gain one power. Um, we're going to spend that one power to uh, play intimidating. Uh, so we're gonna reveal cards until we reveal a ally and then discard the rest. Here's an ally and uh, discarding the rest. Okay. All right, I mean, uh, well, oh yeah, so this would be enough to defeat uh, Bell, so we'll do that later. Um, we can't discard even though we want to, but anyways, let's go down around 11. Uh, let's, uh, we have four, yeah, we have four cards, so we can't discard, or we can't draw. Uh, five, we do not get faded. Okay, we want to get rid of Bell first, so, um... So we have to get power, so we're going to go here, get two power, spend one power to play the wolves to Bell's house. Um, can't do anything else. We can discard. Let's discard Swoon. Um, and that triggers our condition card, but we can't remove an obstacle because Bell won't let us. So we'll hold on to that. Um... Let's go to round 10, uh, draw two cards, get back up to four. That's who we were looking for, the uh, Monsieur Dark. People have been telling me finally how to pronounce that. That is Monsieur Dark. Uh, if we, uh, he's an ally, costs one to play, has one strength, and if we uh, activate him and pay two power, we can remove one obstacle. That's why I'm trying to get rid of these guys so I can start activating him to remove obstacles. Uh, then we have another wolves. Okay, let's uh, see if we get faded. Uh, ten, we do not. Okay, we want to vanquish Bell. Um, only place we can do a vanquish action right now is here. So we're going to do that. Use the wolf to vanquish uh, Bell. Um, let's, uh, I guess we'll spend the one power. Do we want to hold on to it for anything? Mm, no, I don't, can't think of any reason why we would hold on to it. So it's, uh, going to place him there. Uh, can't do anything else this turn. So we'll move down around nine. Uh, let's, uh, draw one card to get back up to four. Hunter's Instinct, uh, an effect card, costs three to play, defeat a hero with a strength of three or less. All right, let's see if we get faded. Oh my god, a one, we're gonna get faded. Getting faded a lot this game. All right, let's uh, see what we got. The Beast, a uh, hero with six strength, when Beast is played or moved, move any allies out of Beast location to any other location. When Beast is vanquished, remove all obstacles from Beast. Uh, Beast's Castle. Then we have Be Our Guest, Find a Hero, 
in the fate discard pile and play them to any location. Um, so we can put Bell back out with Be Our Guest, or if we play the Beast, if we play him here, that would screw up our plan because we'll just move these guys somewhere else. Um, let's see. Find here in the Fate Discard Pile and play them in any location. Or the Beast. Let's do the Beast. We're going to play him here and move these guys out of here to screw up our plan. I will put him here. At Beast Castle. Okay, so now back to our turn. That really screwed us up. Um, so what we'll do is we're going to go here. We're going to gain uh, two power. We're going to... Um, maybe we'll do this one. Because if we play in the Beast Castle, we can vanquish whoever it is pretty easily. Yeah, you know, I think we'll do that. We're gonna we're gonna play this card. It won't cost us anything. We're going to reveal cards till we find a hero. Okay. Play it to uh, Beast Castle. And uh, remove one obstacle. We're going to remove it from the woods. Um, and what does she do when played? You may move all heroes or fate items uh, to new locations. Hmm. Why don't we do that? We're going to move, so we'll, we'll spread everything out. So we're going to put Maurice here. No, no, we're going to put Maurice here, like that. That's how we'll do it. Okay. Um, and we already removed the obstacle. Okay. All right. So, um... Let's see how we want to do this then. Um, so I played that card. I can't discard anymore. Um, so we'll end that turn there. Move down around eight. Uh, we draw, what do you mean, just one card? Okay, we got Intimidating, that's one where we find a uh, ally from our uh, deck uh, and discard the rest. So, let's, um, oops, okay, let me see, is that still going to focus? Uh-oh, did I mess up the focus? Uh-oh, let's see. Oh, uh, I think I messed up the focus. All right, I'm going to have to just manually focus. Okay, um, so uh, let's see. Let's uh, see if we get faded. Uh, four, we're going to get faded. No, we're not, because we're at a place with the fate symbol. So we don't, we don't get faded. Okay. We're going to go here. Uh, we're going to vanquish uh, Mrs. Potts. Um, let's see. Okay, cool. So we can return all of the allies. So we're just going to use... Well, it doesn't matter who we use. Um, because if you read his ability... Uh, let's focus on there. Uh, when performing a vanquish action in LeFou's location, all allies are returned to your hand instead of the discard pile. So it doesn't matter who we use, uh, they're all going to, everyone gets uh, put back into our hand. So, uh, let's put them back in our hand. She is vanquished. 
we are going to um, play LeFou by spending two uh, here. And uh, let's see, we got two of these guys. Hmm. And yeah, we're definitely going to want to discard stuff. Um, but anyways, okay, so that's all we can do for this turn. Uh, so let's uh, move down to round uh, nine, or uh, sorry, seven. We, uh, we don't have to, we don't draw any because we have more than four cards and we don't discard anything because in this game there's no maximum hand limit. Uh, let's see if we get faded. Uh, four, we're going to get faded, which is the last thing we need. Uh, so we have, um, I've never seen so many books. An effect card, uh, replace one obstacle. In uh, Bell, uh, no obstacles can be removed while Bell is in play. Well, that really sucks. So uh, what we'll do is play Bell, because that's worse for us. Put her there. Um, and now we can get back to our hand here. So we're going to go here. We're going to gain one power to spend one power to play the wolves. Because uh, we need to get rid of Bell. Um, next we will... Well, that's all we can do. So uh, we still can't draw any cards. Move down around six. Where is it? Here, six. See if we get faded. Seven, we do not. Uh, we are going to move uh, here to Vanquish Bell. Okay, uh, we can play a card, but we don't have any power to do so. Uh, so we'll end that turn there. Move down around five. See if we get faded. Still have more than four cards. Eight, we do not. Okay. Um, let's go, uh, I guess, here. Because we need... Um, we need to play the mob. So we'll get two power. We can't play them. At the end of our turn there. Go down around four. See if we get faded. Three, we do not, because we're at a place with the uh, fate action. We are going to uh, go here. We're going to gain one power. We're going to spend two power to play the mob there. And we're going to spend... Uh, let's see. Do we want to play... Mm -hmm. uh, let's and we'll we'll end that turn there. So let's uh, go down to round three. Okay, uh, we'll see. If we get faded. Six. We do not. Do we have four cards? Yeah, we do. Okay. We are going to go here. We're going to uh, vanquish. The beast with the mob and LeFou, who add up to six, which is uh, beats strength, which is six. They go back to our hand because of LeFou's uh, ability. Uh, and if you see here, uh, when beast is played or moved, move any allies out of beast location. So we already did that. When beast is vanquished, remove all obstacles from beast's castle. So, boom, boom. We only need two more, and they're both at Bell's house. And the way we get those, so and this everything here now becomes immediately available to us. So we're gonna gain uh, two power. Um, we're going to, we're not going to um, activate Monsieur Dark. What we're going to do is not do anything because we're on our next turn. We're going to use this to defeat Maurice and if you see when oh this sorry about the um sorry about the focus it's not automatically focusing now uh, but when we play Maurice uh, or when we defeat Maurice uh, we'll be able to remove all obstacles from Bell's house so he is similar to uh, the beast in that respect um, 
and we're going to use uh, Hunter's Instinct to get him because he is a uh, hero with a strength of three or less. And we have three power to do it. So we're going to move down around two. Can't draw any cards because we already, already have uh, more than four. Uh, we would roll the fate die, but because we are at our win condition, we're going to automatically fate ourselves to see if we would be prevented from winning. So let's uh, focus this. Replace two obstacles. That would definitely prevent us from winning. Be our guest when a hero in, in the fate discard pile and play them to any location. So uh, we can get Bell back out, and that would be uh, probably delay us even more. So why don't we do that? We're going to fix the focus. We're going to play Belle. We're going to have her cover up uh, the... Um, or would that replace two obstacles? Yeah, that wouldn't be too bad. So we're going to put Belle back to um, prevent us from getting anything. So let's go... So we're going to do something similar then. We're going to go, um, we're going to go here. We're going to gain one power. We're going to spend, uh, three power to still play Hunter's Instinct in, uh, Defeat Bell. And, uh, we have one, hmm. All we need to do is put LeFou there and defeat Maurice, and then we win. So we'll end that turn there. Going to go down to the last turn. We're not going to fade ourselves. We can't draw any cards either, but we're not going to fade ourselves. We're going to see if we would be prevented from winning. So let's see. Focus. Uh, Cogsworth. All other heroes in Cogsworth location get plus one strength. That would That might delay us in winning. Um, if we put him with Maurice, because he has two strength, and we only have enough time to put one, so that might prevent us from winning. And when limit, you may move a, a hero to a new location, so that would not prevent us from winning. Um, Cogsworth, oddly enough, would. So let's uh, let's play Cogsworth. Uh, he has to be at the lo same location. So he goes there. All right, so let's see if we can win. I don't think so because of that, but let's see if we can somehow make this work. Huh. Maybe I should have used this before, <laughs> and then I could use it again now to get that last, um, <clears throat> to get that last one. So let's see how we can do this, if we can do this. Oh yeah, we can still do it. I, I forgot that these guys only cost two. So that won't prevent us from winning. We're going to gain two power. Spend that two power. To play um, the mob to the woods. And we're going to use the vanquish action to use the mob to vanquish Maurice. Um, so Maurice has three strength because of Cogworth, Cogsworth. But these guys still have four. So they would defeat Maurice. Cogsworth stays there. Um, and then just like the beast, if Maurice is vanquished, remove all obstacles from Bell's house. So he is vanquished. We remove all obstacles from Bell's uh, house. And there you go. We have one as uh, Gaston because we have removed all eight obstacles. There you have it. So now it is time to recite the litany of the meme. The night is dark and full of terror, but I know that we will live long and prosper, for the force will be with us always against the forces of he who must not be named. As we remember to keep it secret, keep it safe, until the day we assemble in the name of Muad'Dib. So, say, we all!